but I knew it all the time, that if it could happen in the most cultured country of the world, well... And here you're talking of Poland and Europe, generally. I am talking of Europe, especially Germany. In if it could happen, so the same element exists all the time. Everything exists all the time. And it's only a kind of constellation that, that things uh, accumulate to, to have those uh, results. And, and I think this, it's very frightening that uh, it might happen somewhere, somehow, again. And in small scale, it is happening. Well, it's not such an industrial factory of that. But still, you, sh you hear all the time what's happening in the world. Horrible things, horrible things. So I think that you have to remember. As well, the Jews especially, they have, you know, they remember things very good for <laughs> thousands of years, of course. But still, I, I, I have this, uh, uh, I do not think that you have a materialistic thing, physical things, in order to remember something, you know. Well, people remember how they got the Torah from Mount Sinai by Moses. And it said like uh, that uh, every soul was uh, uh, standing there, every soul that will be born in the end of times uh, was a witness of this. They do not have not the commandments and not the Sinai and not Moses and not his grave, but still it's the... I mean, the, something very, that I don't know the word in English. My English is horrible. Doing fine. My Polish is better than my Hebrew, of course. <laughs> I know Polish perfectly. Mm. The fundament to the uh, foundation, yeah. yeah, this is the word. So you have to be very, very, very careful. Mm. But you, you've used your memories in a girl, which came out in, in what, 19, no, two, when, two thousand five years ago. Five years ago, 2004, 2005. Yeah. Um, Four, five. And do you, can you use those memories in the children's books? Yeah, so recently I really, I started to tell you about this day of the, so I created a book for children. Uh, talking mainly, not mentioning Germans, no Jews, no Poles, but talking mainly, it's, it's uh, based on my private memory, but uh, it's kind of uh, the universal uh, evil uh, reign, reign in the world. So I will show you the book, I have it here, and uh, and it's like ending with, uh, with a kind of a promise that uh, the grown-ups, I, it's like omnipotent mother, mm. I have to be all the time very, very careful and very, very watchful all the time, all the time, all the people of the world not to allow such things to happen again. And... Uh, well, it might be naive, but this is really my hope. This is really my hope. And I did it in a way that I did all my 37 books with the same little boy like a protagonist and so. so and uh, I put the witness, I, I, just, I just put it in a time long, long ago, in a far, far away country. So to make it not scary, that, but it is very, very scary. Hmm? So, but it's a kind of way that it's better to, to talk to children. And then I didn't, of course, get to in any details. It's only good and bad. The war between good and bad and evil. And the importance of the member in order
order to avoid. To, to learn to and to avoid. Well, maybe more to feel and avoid. I think that feeling is uh, go, it goes for a long time, and learning may be less. But if you feel something, it's ah, immediately, you know, déjà vu some situation, and then it makes you immediately feel the same, like you remember. Has the writing of a girl helped you understand and helped you express what happened? Well, I think the main feeling was First of all, I was very proud of myself that I sat down, not fanatically, when I didn't have anything very important to do, I, I did it. Mm. Because I still, still now do not believe I really did it. I, my conclusion was that I still do not understand anything at all. But I understood something that I think is very, very important and very strange. And this I didn't realize like it before I wrote it. That a child that is as intelligent as he could be in all his life and everything, but like the life experience. When something happens, he is thinking that this is how the world is. This is a tragic thing. That, that you know, things happen to a child, and it's nothing that you can compare it with. And he thinks, this is how life is. This is how a child is when she may be still the ghetto that she has to crawl into an opening of a door some hiding. This is the cheese we told that her name is different and she has to pray French prayer. And this is that she has to leave her parents and she went now with the baby didn't recognize them. And this is how we uh, uh, sat there not walking and not uh, about food I even can talk and she, after the liberation. Uh, so uh, my mother was immediately put with a um, uh, horrible tuberculosis. She almost died. My, my father couldn't almost walk. And me too. And I always whispered. I, I can't make my voice up till now. I can't scream at all. And my father put me in an orphanage. And I was thinking it's a garden of Eden. It was enough food. And I could cry. You know? I loved it. In the words I want to talk about, the 27, it, there are some situations that to cry, it's a luxury. You can cry. So strange. And I am only really one of not many children fetch from this ghetto. This is, I realize also, a very, very difficult thing. And I'm sorry I realized it. Because, you know, it's universal. When person is involved in some very tragic situation, like earthquake or terrorist attack, and people die around him, and he is still alive. The she said that it was a <laughs> sheer fortune, I mean, that you own your life to an incident. It's not, this is not easy. Either. So about this I didn't think before, and also about this that all this time I realized that I didn't have the idea that this is uh, unbelievable, so time shouldn't be. I thought that this is how the life is, and then I think this is all. But I also was thinking, why really I had to continue my life and I bury and I do not feel a victim, and I did all the work I did. Of course, first of all, I have a family. I have a family. So I think it's because maybe I consider this evil against 
c'est mais something universe not a private hatred like like you, you hear about those horrible children abused in the family or at school and so on so it's so private this was some like cosmic evil uh, not against Ilonka Goldman you know uh, which was my Ilona my original name maybe I don't know it's very strange it is really very very strange because you know there are many people that 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 the, the alive during this period uh, stay the major thing in their life like an obsession they they couldn't get over it at all mm -hmm. and uh, and this uh, the conclusion it, it, it is not my my case, which which is really very sad. But I think it's because I also take life. You know, I observe. I do not look. I observe, and uh, and I have this deep deep appreciation when I see things. You know, when I read, when I see. Because it's so wonderful, the things are so wonderful that you meet all the time. Now I am singing, I am quite old, you know, I am 73 and a half. It's really, it's really old age. And now I think, oh, I should be dead one time. It's such a waste of time to be dead, you know. I didn't, I wouldn't see that. Most of the things, waste of time. I see now, or I remember, so I think, oh, you know, there are many years that you think for the first time, you see things, yes, like, like, like a picture I love, that I remember, I, I, I cry, and, uh, but now you go to a museum, and you're, it's the last time I see, it's not so cheerful, so, well, but this is not the subject, yes, about it's different.